What's up guys, Jason with Little Guy, big review. Today we're gonna to be testing this TDS meter. It stands for Total Dissolved Solids. And it tests dissolved mineral salts and metals. And as you can see on this chart right here, from zero to about 200 is ideal drinking water. From 200 to about 400 is your average tap water. And anything above 400 to 500 is considered contaminated water. You'll see the charts within the video. So with that being said, Let's get this tested. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be testing out this TDS water meter. And if you don't know what TDS stands for, in the description below, I will put down a little thing that tells you everything about it. Now what this will do is it'll tell us about how pure our water is, if there's solids in it or not. We're gonna test out tap water. We're gonna test out all these other bottled waters. And then this water right here is from our local water depot. This is alkaline water. So we're gonna test out the TDS on these, and then we're also gonna test out the pH levels on all of these and actually see which one is more alkaline and which one is acidic. Due to the times that we're in right now, everybody's buying water bottles like crazy. So what I wanna figure out is, is tap water just as good as these bottled waters or is alkaline the best out of all of them? So with that being said, let's go ahead and get this thing tested. Here's some of the features of the TDS meter. If you hold the button, it'll turn on. It's automatically going to put you at the PPM testing, the parts per million. Now, once you put it in there, you can hit the hold button and that'll hold it. Then once you want to clear it, you just hit the clear button. It'll automatically default it back to zero. Now, if you hit the mode button, it should take you to where you can get your temperature. It'll do Celsius and then also Fahrenheit. So it's a really cool thing because you can also test how hot the water is, how cold the water is. It's very easy to use, so let's go ahead and get back to the testing. So this is our tap water. And as you see, the number's gonna go a little bit and pretty much stop. I'm gonna hold it, okay? And what is it at? It is at 399. Now as you can see in the chart below that this is above uh, marginal levels for tap water. And then the back here, you can say that it has uh, mineral springs in it. This doesn't necessarily mean it's contaminated. You know, all water companies put different kind of minerals in the water to help purify it. So, so don't get discouraged already that the tap wire is not able to drink. It's just, it's picking up minerals from the water company. Now we're gonna check out the Winco brand. We're gonna let it lock in. Okay, so what is this? Six part per million. And you can see right here, this is definitely drinkable water. It's purified, so that is really good. So we're gonna clear this. Now we're coming over to the legendary Aquafina. I love this water, so I'm very curious as how this is gonna stand up. Okay. Wow, I'm actually really surprised. Look at that. One parts per million for the Aquafina. Let's go ahead and check out the super expensive Fiji water. Whoa, whoa, look at that. Okay, the Fiji water, 121 parts per million. Wow, that's very surprising. I didn't think it was gonna be like that. And this, I've never had this core water before. It's supposed to have a pH balance of 7.4. We'll check that out here in a little bit. It's purified balanced water. So let's go ahead and check out the core water. Whoa, 97 parts per million. Now this is the last one. This is the alkaline water from our water depot. And let's check it out. All right, and we can tell, and I'm very happy to see this. Very happy to see this number, 36, which means very good drinking water. So this is tap water again, straight from a faucet. Here we go. This one I'm gonna let and I'm gonna lock it in, and hopefully you guys can see this. This is at 410. Now here's what really, really dumbfounded me, and I don't understand why this is happening. So we're at four something on the top water. So let me lock this in. Now, now we are at 655. This is the pot with the Teflon that we boil the water. And typically you think if you boil water, you clear all the contaminants, right? Okay, let me clear this off again. And then we're gonna move over here 
to this one. We boil this in a stainless steel pot and when we put this TDS meter in here, look at that. We lock it in. We are now at 752. So I don't know what the difference between the tap water, boiling it with Teflon, and then in a stainless steel, what causes the parts per million to go up? Because on here it says anything over 500 is contaminated water. Let me know in the comment section below because I am just dumbfounded by this. Now with this meter, there's really no cons to it. It does exactly as it's advertised. It tests the PPM, it gives you the chart from zero to 500. It tells you exactly if it's drinkable, marginal, or just contaminated. It'll test uh, temperature, Celsius, and Fahrenheit. It also comes with this cool little case. I don't have anything bad to say about it. And if you are gonna to continue to buy water bottles, you might wanna get one of these and test them out and see if the bottle water you're really buying is worth it or not. Thanks for tuning in. Check out these other videos. And if this video was helpful, please do me a favor, smash that like button, click the subscribe button. And also, hey, if this was helpful, share it on your social media. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.